Do you even remember what you saw at the end of the race right now? <laughs> no, I remember the picture. When the picture finally popped up and we saw that we were across first, that's, that's what I remember, and hopefully that's what I always remember from it. Talk a little bit about the communication you have with Daniel that last lap. Yeah, well, I, I was I was quiet. I was on the intercom, probably just talking to our engineers, and uh, left it to Frankie and Daniel, and they knew exactly what to do. We'd been talking about it all week and watching film, so they executed perfectly, and really proud of them and all of our guys. I mean, you had to avoid things. Handling was a big issue. Just kind of take me real quick how Daniel did throughout the race. Well, he kept his head in the game. Uh, all the guys did. You know. Uh, it was lap two, I think we wrecked, and we were on pit road, putting bear bond on, uh, fixing the car. Had to come back in several times at the end of the stage and keep working on it. So everybody just keeping their head in the games, keep fighting, and it's just a, a true testament to this team and what they can do. You're the new face at Track House <laughs> and in victory lane on your third race. I know, it's uh, it's great. I uh, I knew we'd get here, I just didn't know it would happen this quick, so I'm, I'm ecstatic. So the pressure is off. Does that help with the momentum moving the rest of the season? Well, it allows us to try some stuff, get uh, experiment with some setups, and really, uh, you know, we could go to Vegas and try something new and build some setups for the playoffs. Welcome to the playoffs. Thank you. <laughs>